The Ozarks Best News Talk, 107.1 The Point. Cooper and Winslow here on this wonderful morning, and we're going to be speaking with someone in just a moment for the State Senate District 33. I want to talk a little bit about Ward. is currently serving as state representative representing Howe County. He is elected back in 2004 and has been a conservative leader in the Missouri House of Representatives and now running for State Senate. And Winslow, uh, that's who we have in the studio today, right? Exactly. Good morning, Ward. How are you this uh, morning? Good morning. It's great to be here. <laughs> well, it's great to have you. Now, you are in a position right now along with Mike Cunningham and Don Wells to take the place of not necessarily retiring but Chuck Perkinson's position. Yes Chuck Perkinson is termed out so we've got an open seat so we're all giving it our best shot. So what exactly do we want to let the people know that you can bring to the Senate seat that maybe your incumbents can't? Well, I've got a great track record of of listening to my constituents, being there for them. And and there's a number of examples out there that I use a lot. Uh, For instance, the K2 problem that we had in this area, and it's growing throughout the country, Mm -hmm. to where we were the second state in the nation to to outlaw that. Uh, Other issues, you know, with the Prop B, with groups coming in to Missouri, like Humane Society U.S., trying to tell us how we could raise our animals, so we we filed legislation mm-hmm. to to make a point to be proactive to tell these groups that they're not wanted it here here in Missouri because we do a great job of of raising our own animals like we've done for centuries, right. and, and those are those are examples. Um, other examples is the when the Modot was trying to shut down our district office where mm-hmm. we were losing well over a hundred jobs here in this area. I was the one candidate who stuck my neck out there fought for these jobs to make sure that they were going to stay in this area. And, and it wasn't necessarily, necessarily a popular thing to do, but that was something that I was determined to do for the, my constituents. Mm-hmm. And you are uh, currently right now a member of the First Baptist Church here in town. You've yes. lived here with your family. And, and go ahead and just give us a little bit of explanation about you and yourself as a personal um, life stance, because some people may not know who Ward is. Yeah, that's a good question. I was I'll just go way back. I was okay. I was raised in uh, Western Oregon County. We had a cow calf operation. Uh, we I've lived in South Central Missouri for most of my whole life, other than going off to school. I went to college at Southwest Baptist University. Went to seminary in Fort Worth, Texas. Uh, over the years, I've I've been a youth minister, both full time and as a lay person. I'm a small business owner, and you mentioned First Baptist Church. That's where I go to church. I'm a deacon there, and I teach uh, college Sunday school. So I've got a lot of life experiences that I think will uh, give me a, a boost while I'm in Jefferson City. Now, will there be any different roles from the current state representative that you are doing to the Senate position that you'll be holding? What will be the differences that you'll be doing in uh, Jeff mm-hmm. City? Well, there's there's a lot of differences. From one, as a state representative, you're one of 163. And currently we have 105 state representatives that you've got to get along. You've got to work things mm-hmm. out because if you're up there just saying no all the time and not building those relationships, you're not going to get anything. And I think I've, I've built those relationships to where, you know, I was uh, given the chairmanship of one of the most powerful committees in the state, uh, the General Laws Committee, over the last couple of years. Now, in the Senate, you're one of 34. Uh, there's it's a little more of an individual game because you have a little more say so and things uh, dealing with the budget and with with bills that come along so um you still have to have the relationships but you can you can make a stand a little stronger for for those things that you believe in okay and as a, one big issue that is uh, up is the obamacare uh yes. what about obamacare i know that's going to be a kind of a touchy subject maybe uh, but uh, we're, what we're about it break you in because <laughs> yeah, get you prepared <laughs> <laughs> well i when when the supreme court upheld that ruling i was out in the district and it was not a fun day because people were very upset mm-hmm. and, and i agree they they should be to have you know this is one more example of how washington is is mandating what we have to do and that's not right for them to tell us what we can and can't do so i I think this year is is going to be a a fun year if if the people have confidence in me and elect me to the state senate i will fight for that to make sure that that is not funded and and we're going to tell washington we don't want it Mm -hmm. because that is overwhelmingly the wish of the people you know when we had uh 
the vote a couple of years ago, it was over 71% were opposed to Obamacare in the state of Missouri. So mm-hmm. I think that's a pretty clear message that they need to stay out. Mm-hmm. Um, going back to the kind of a state level, you know, Governor Jay Nixon just signed some uh, law bills in, um, into law, uh, one the move over, the extension of that one. Right. Um, uh, can you maybe share a little bit more on that? Because this probably was you presented there at your desk, too, and you right. looked at it. Right. Th- this is one that we worked on in committee, and uh, Senator Parson from uh, Bolivar was the one that was kind of pushing that. And, and the whole the whole idea to, <clears throat> to expand that was to help protect our men and women that are working on our roads and, and to make sure that they are safe. Um, we, did, we need to be a little careful and not go too wild. Just to give you an example, one individual wanted the move over law to be for everybody, whether you have a flat tire or not. And while that's a, that's a good idea, but you can go a little overboard, and those are things that you've got to kind of have a clear head up there sometimes to make sure you don't have some unintended consequences. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, so if you are going to become the next state senate, of course, the uh, primaries are August 7th. Uh, you're running against uh, Mike Cunningham and Don Wells. Uh, let's, if someone were to come up to all three of you at one point in time, you're all standing in a line, and they go, Ward, I'm going to ask you, I want you to win me over. How, how would you uh, win that vote over for that person? Well, we get that question a lot because, <laughs> matter of fact, we do candidate forums. I think we've had, oh, 10 or 12 already so far in this campaign trail and i think what the reason i stand out is you know for one i'm I'm younger i have the energy i have the drive and and nothing against those guys those guys are are my good friends but uh, that is what i get on the campaign trail to where i stand out and then then the ability to like i said maybe stick my neck out when it's not necessarily popular with the party Mm -hmm. or with leadership but for the reason I'm fighting for my my people back home. So um, I, I think those are the things that kind of stand out the most. Okay. And what's uh, some information if people wanted to look at more with Ward? Where can they go on a web page? Well, I have a website, uh, wardfriends.com. You can go there. Uh, I've got a Facebook page. You can you can look me up on that and uh, or just give me a call. My cell phone is 417-293-7438. And uh, just give me a call. I'll be happy to talk with you. Okay. Well, Winslow, it sounds like we have a, a great person coming in. The first one that we get a chance to talk to for state Senate. Mm-hmm. And uh, we talk with, uh, you know, people running for U.S. Senate and other representatives, things going on. Just one more question before we uh, close out. Is there a public forum where they can hear you address? Yes. A candidate forum is uh, July 12th in Willow Springs mm-hmm. at the, uh, that the chamber is putting on at Grimes Auditorium. All right, good. So okay. they, they can get a chance to come out and get to know all of you candidates a you little bet. better and, and kind of help make their decision during the primary then. Right, and it's very important to educate it yourself. Is. You know, to meet people, mm-hmm. you, you get um, something in the mail, it's two-dimensional, and yeah. it's great to see somebody face-to-face and, and uh, get to talk with them and see what they're all about. Well, and you get to know them better and get a better read on them too. You know, mm-hmm. when Absolutely. you're there in person, Absolutely. you kind of see them on a – a little more equal playing field, so mm-hmm. to speak, outside right. of, you know, the box. <laughs> <laughs> well, Ward, we thank you so much for coming in and talking with us this morning and giving our listeners a little insight as to who Ward Franz is and what he's going to represent if he's chosen to represent the people. You bet. Well, thank you for having me. You're welcome. Wardfranz.com. Check it out for State Senate. Thank you so much. And again, we're here with the Ozarks Best News Talk, 107.1 The Point.